instinctively it's something that we continually strive to do, moving beyond minimum compliance or statutory compliance and embracing best practice makes good business sense, good business sense for the organisation. After all, we're one of the largest employers in Northern Ireland and we employ in excess of 13,000 staff and we provide a range of services in the hospital context, in the community and people's homes and increasingly in partnership with the independent sector. As one of the top 50 uh, performing hospitals in the UK, it's very important that we as trusts go beyond statute compliance and have in place policies, practices and procedures that enable the staff that we employ to do the best job they can and in turn that we may as an organisation develop and deliver high quality services. The Multicultural Handbook provides very helpful information to staff on the front line. Issues like how to address people appropriately naming because some cultures don't have a first name, dietary needs, modesty needs, birth, spiritual needs and rights to interpreter and, and including care of the dying. It's an essential tool for frontline staff who can dip into this resource when they're dealing with patients so that they care for everyone in a dignified manner and in a way that respects their cultural needs. Not everyone does have a religious faith or particular belief, so it's important to recognise that as well. And even amongst groups of the same denomination, there are differences in views and perspectives. I suppose the real challenge was trying to reconcile those competing perspectives into one resource that everyone felt they could sign up to. But we were able to overcome these difficulties by working in partnership with the Black Minority Ethnic Race Equality Forum and the Southern Trust, which brings together local representatives from the BME communities in our jurisdiction. Another organisation that was of great help to us was the Northern Ireland Chaplaincy Service, who often are the first port of call when someone comes into our care. All these organisations work really well together to produce a resource, which I say is something that everyone has bought into. Production of this, these resources was not cost neutral, nor was it cost prohibitive. Typically the costs were borne by all five health and social care trusts as we came together to produce their own economy of scales. And importantly it avoided duplication and it also facilitated target discussion with BME groups to produce these resources and provide for a better outcome in the end. Engagement with the community, voluntary groups and indeed service users or those that use your particular service often hold the key to solutions and issues that you are struggling with. I would share and extend best practice across Northern Ireland so that others can share and benefit in your successes. Thank you.